Hello, this month we're going to learn about doing a cable knit. So there are all kinds of cable knits. Um, this one's a little more intricate, but we're going to just do a basic one. This one involves the left front crosses and back front crosses. And then this one is just a single cross, so it's the uh, front cross that we're going to do. Now to get this one started, we're going to cast on 22 stitches. That's going to give us 9 that we're going to do in stockinette, and then 4 that are going to be done with the cable, and then another 9 also in stockinette. So our first row, we're going to purl 9, and to purl, you just go from this front side, yarn over, pull it through, and then drop that loop off of the left needle. And we're going to do that nine times. Two, three, four. And nine. Now that we've got our nine done, we're going to move our yarn to the back and we're going to knit four. One, two, three. And four. And remember, knitting is just putting your needle in, yarning over, pulling that through, and dropping it off. Now we're going to purl the next nine. We're going to do row 2, which we're going to knit 9, purl 4, and knit 9. It's basically the reverse of row 1. Move our yarn to the back, and now purl 4. Knit the last nine. On to row three. This is the row that we're going to get to the navel, the cabling in. We'll start with pearly nine. Now we've got to our cable. There's a couple ways you can do it. You can use a cable needle. You can just clip them with a pin. You can also very carefully just do it by slipping them on. Just try not to lose your stitches. I'll show you with the cable needle first. We'll slip the first two on here, putting it onto the cable needle, and we're just going to knit the next two.
and you want to make sure this stayed in the front. Now we're going to take and make the cable needle be your left needle and you're going to knit these ones. Just like normally would. So you've finished your first cable. And we just go back to purling these last nine stitches. After finishing your cable row, we're going to do three rows of straight stitching, which that means you're just doing the purls and knits alternating like we did before. I'm going to switch to this one over here so that you can kind of see it forming because it takes a while to actually start to see your cable. So I've switched to this one and I've already done those three straight stitches. and. I'll actually show you the cable row again using the safety pin method. You can use a safety pin, stitch marker, either works. We're going to purl our nine. Now to do it with the safety pin, you're just going to take and safety pin or stitch marker the two loops that are going to be next and then you can slip them off. Make sure it goes to the front and we're doing knit so I want my yarn back here. And then you'll knit two. And you'll want to pick these back up onto this needle. Move your stitch marker so they can knit. And then knit these two. And then we'll go back to purl. Now I'll go back to doing the knit nine. So these are going to be our three running, or our three straight stitches of rows. row two between your cable stitches. We're going to purl a nine. And row three of, in between your cables is just going to be a repeat of row one in between the cables. We're ready to do another cable. This time I'll show you how to do the cable without anything. We'll do our nine pearls.
Okay, so now I got to the cable. I'm just gonna carefully slip these two and hope I don't lose any of these stitches. Just kind of leave them there. Make sure they stay in the front. I also want my yarn here. You can see I'm already trying to lose my stitch. We're gonna knit and knit. Now you're gonna want to pick these stitches back up. And obviously I don't suggest doing this method because it's kind of hard, but if you're in a scrape and you don't have anything to use, you can still cable knit without a safety pin or stitch marker or an extra needle. So now that I've got those back on there, I'll just knit them. And then purl my last nine stitches. And you would just finish your piece when you get to the length that you want it to be. Just like regular, I would suggest not doing it on a cable row, just because it might look a little strange. It blend in a little more if you do it on any of the other rows. So there we go. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll answer them as soon as I see it. Good luck.